Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Nastri Padasale. So this video is really an important video. This video is going to answer many confusions that are arising from student mind regarding the CSAR examination result that also with respect to life sciences. Okay. So in this video, I'll be detailedly explain you that about that confusion. I know many students are asking either in my video or in other YouTube channel videos. I thought why not to give an easy explanation that also in English so that many people will get better. So without any delay, let's get into the video. Okay, so before entering the video, I must say with regard to this life sciences examination, I hope you have read the notice and all. So only this life sciences paper, they had divided into two groups, group 1 and group 2, that is morning shift and afternoon shift. Whereas other sciences like earth sciences, physical sciences, mathematical sciences, chemical sciences, they had written the examination in one group. So the result cut off, everything will be uh, different from earth sciences, physical sciences and mathematical sciences when compared to this life sciences group. And this life sciences group, they are really getting worried about the result analysis. So I thought why not to place a video so that many students will get benefited. So we will get into the video. So what is the... So this is what the question that has been asked from the student side in my comment section. So ma'am, how much score will it need to qualify JRF in general category for shift 1 and next question was what is the cutoff for general category in shift 2 my mark next question was my mark is 67 out of 200 so they had calculated based on the response sheet availability and also provisional answer key and I wrote my exam in shift 2 whether there is any chances for me to clear this examination so like this all this question this video I'm going to provide you the answers for all the confusions next thing is that there is a hypothesis among students right say shift one question paper is very easy so many students will clear if she or he wrote the exam in shift one and next hypothesis is that shift two question paper is very hard and so many students will fail in that particular examination if she wrote the exam in the shift two. And many students, so this is what statement that has been provided by many students, even I wrote the examination uh, in 2020 only, even I was also thinking about this particular thing only. So even we will compare among ourselves. So you are belong to shift one student. So you are lucky because question paper is easy. So you will clear the examination and I belong to shift two. So I'm lucky like that. We will generally discuss. So all these hypotheses and questions is going to be answerable. First. So if you take life sciences exam, which was conducted on 17th of this month, the life sciences exam was conducted into two shifts, like group one, group two or shift one, shift two. Morning shift 9 a.m. to 12 noon and afternoon shift 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. So the reason for conducting on life sciences is that if you refer total number of candidates who apply for the CSAR life sciences is nearly 60,000 to 1 lakh. Whereas other sciences say if you are taking life earth sciences means only 5,000 candidates will be applying. Whereas physical sciences, mathematical sciences, chemical sciences the number ranging from 30 to 50. So greater the number of students appear they are, they are separating the student into group 1 and group 2. Okay. Next, group 1 student will have a separate question paper friends. So, group 2 question will have a separate question paper. So, many students are thinking since it is a life sciences examination. So, both the group 1 that is shift 1 student and shift 2 student will have a same question paper. No, that is not a possible at all. They will have a separate question paper. So, each question paper there will be this much percentage of each easy question, this much percentage of hard question and there will be some amount of question that is tough. With respect to general aptitude is similar only but only question paper that is part B, part C it is completely different. Okay and this shift one will be written by first 50 candidates. Say if 1 lakh student is appear for life sciences exam for this June 2021 examination means first 50,000 student they will be allotted for shift one and next 50,000 candidate will be allotted for shift two. So that is the thing. And with respect to answer key which was released by NTA on 22nd or uh, yesterday we can get the answer key. So answer key is also different. So question paper is different and again answer key is also different. So by putting your application number you can download your question paper and answer key. So next thing is regard to this is, so this is an important thing. Many students are thinking shift one since it is a different question paper. So cutoff will also be different and also result will also be different. And shift two again it is a different question paper. For shift two there is a separate cutoff. Say for shift one the question paper is easy so the cutoff will be high. 
Okay, say for a uh, hundred marks uh, for percentage wise, I'm saying shift one the question paper is easy. The cutoff is high means if for shift one student the cutoff will be around fifty five for general category. Whereas for shift two student the question paper is tough. The cutoff will be forty five percentage. Like that, their student are thinking and also many student are thinking. Uh, so nearly for a year, if you take for a one particular examination cycle, nearly seven thousand fellowship will be awarded. So this seven thousand includes JRF as well as assistant professorship. So each examination cycle. Cycle, this many fellowship only will be allotted and it will be given by CSA. So many students are thinking 7,000 students from shift 1 will be given awarded with a fellowship and I gave 7,000 students from shift 2. So here I have given 50,000 students, first 50,000 will be given uh, shift 1 state schedule and next 50,000 will be given schedule 2. Like that many students are thinking. So there are totally 14,000 students will be awarded fellowship like that you are thinking. So this is what the thinking among students. But the thing is that this is what they are thinking. So, in 2020, your result, JRF CSR, since it is a joint CSR examination, again I am saying, CSR will take a responsibility and they will give a fellowship for this many amount of students and UGC will give a fellowship for this many amount of students. Since it is a joint CSR and UGC, because CSR is not financially that much stable to provide fellowship for all the students. So, UGC is taking part in carrying out all the things. Okay, next thing. This is what they are thinking. So, shift one student, JRF 2300 will be awarded and JRF UGC 1500 will be awarded and lectureship position, this many will be awarded. And again, for shift two, they will select 2300 candidate for JRF CSAR and again, they will select 1500 for JRF UGC and also for lectureship, they will again take this many amount for this uh, shift two like that they are thinking. This is totally wrong friends. Okay, so this is also totally uh, wrong because so, up to answer key releasing is the role of NTA will be completed. So, NTA if you check on to this particular website. So, I am just showing you this particular website. So, if you click on reading this particular thing. So, here the first name is that CSA. So, here you can able to see the NTA National Testing Agency. National Testing Agency has been entrusted by Council of Scientific and Industrial Research in taking of conducting joint CSER UGC net examination June 2021 in CBT mode. Since if you take CSER, they are not only managing our, our thing alone, they are managing various different schedules. So what CSER thought, no, we cannot be able to complete the examination. So they had given the role to NTA. NTA means what? National Testing Agency. The role of NTA is to conduct the test only. So they will book a lot examination center, they will open the application portal, they will collect the fees, if there is any queries, they will answer. But after releasing answer key, what NTA will do? NTA will give the answer key or final result to CSAR. Okay. Next comes the role of CSAR HRDG. So, what the CSAR HRDG will think? CSAR HRDG first will analyze the financial, the total amount of fellowship that can be awarded. So, how this total amount of fellowship will be awarded? It depends upon the candidate performance, difficulty level of question paper and all also plus fund allotted by the government since we are getting our fellowship only from the government side and the CSAR will take a responsibility of analyzing how many amount is there so that we can separately and we can divide them to among how many students like that they will give and also how many JRF, how many assistant professionals. Everything is under the control of this CSAR HR difference. So even if you take the result section, so if you take the result, if you read on this result section means here this is the result. Here you can be able to see. So this is I am saying for 2020 year, where in 2020 year also the exam was conducted in two shift only. But the thing is that the amount of JRF given is similar only. They didn't increase nowhere after releasing the result. They have spoken about the shift 1 and shift 2. That's up to answer key and question paper only they will be given. Uh, once the answer key and result has been uh, given to CSER, no such thing will be given. So this is what nowhere you can be able to see separate cutoff or separate merit list for shift 1, shift 2 under you can't able to see. So here also you can be able to see minimum Minimum cutoff percentage for award of JRF, lectureship, assistant profession in different discipline is given. So simply they are given only. Uh, don't think about this chemical sciences, air sciences and mathematical sciences and physics sciences and all. Those sciences the exam was conducted in one shift only. So that is a different thing. Whereas if you take life sciences, that is a different thing. And if you can able to see over here, uh, in chemical sciences, air sciences and all, they are giving that in percentage. Whereas in life sciences here, they are giving in asterisk mark. Here they are giving in life sciences subject, the raw marks obtained have been normal into NTA score percentile which is called as percentile and results have been declared based on the percentile cutoff. Okay, so this particular thing we will discuss in the upcoming video friends. So, what I 
So please don't think you will be giving a separate thing and all. So this is what the 2020 year result. 2020 year also there is a separate cutoff only given. So for JRF CSIR awarded fellowship. So they will. So those candidates who are cleared under this JRF CSIR uh, fellowship will be given from CSIR. So totally 2135 fellowship has been awarded. Whereas if you take JRF UGC, so totally 1638 candidates have been selected under this. For all this 1638 candidates, UGC will give the salary or fellowship every month UGC from their bank account to another candidate bank account they will transfer the amount okay so fellowship and fund will be taken from the bank of UGC okay so UGC will provide the salary or fellowship okay and also with lectureship and assistant professorship totally 4000 candidates have been given if uh, you student are thinking shift one separately shift two separately I think in this video I had given you an enough details so this will be very much helpful so please don't think in that particular way so NT after releasing the answer key the role of NT is completed after everything is will be under the control of this particular CSCR friend so in the result section itself you can be able to see so here you know where you can be able to see NTA here they are giving CSCR HRDG only they are giving so all the result compilation everything is under the control of your CSCR so don't think the fellowship will be double under so here you can be able to see the deputy secretary only releasing the result no where NTA is involved the role of NTA is that they need to conduct the exam and they need to provide the result it is the CSCR they need to decide how many candidates they need to give the fellowship like that they will decide. I think I had provided you enough detail amount. In the next video I will do share about why normalization, what is the normalization procedure and what are the merits and demerits of normalization procedure and who will be benefited with respect to normalization procedure. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching this video.